It's really quiet in here. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hi, Jason. Hello. Thank you. How are you holding up? Everybody good? Yeah. All good. Yeah. Wow. Great. Well, I'm happy to join you guys today. Um, who is guiding today's um, session? That would be... My name is Heidi Bess. We're all very excited to have you here today. Well, you done done me in your bed. I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. And now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. to say nothing gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some. So I didn't write this song about anybody special. People ask me that all the time. Oh, did you have a girlfriend? Were you in love at the time when you wrote this? And actually, I wrote it for my first love, which is singing. I picked up an instrument. I actually wrote this song on an electric guitar, just chugging on the, on the low strings, kind of muted like this. And I just started improvising like we were talking about earlier. And I'm singing basically to the great unknown or to the muse that might inspire us and deliver us our ideas or deliver us our dreams. And I'm trying basically to stay out of the way and say, make me an instrument, I'm yours. And as I surrender to the moment and just start improvising, this sweet little song popped out. Open up your mind and see he like me. Open up your plans and man, you're free. Look into your heart and you'll find love, 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 love. Listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing. We're just one big family. It's our God intended right to be love, 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 love. Oh, I won't hesitate. No more, no more, it cannot wait. I'm sure there's no need to complicate things cause our time is short. This is our fate. I'm yours. You do do, do you do 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 me do you want to come on in? Scooch on over closer, dear. Yes, come here. Room de baba boba bonch. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. So one great way to improvise a song into existence is maybe if you don't have any words, just start making noise. Some people call those mumble songs, but you can just scat your way to victory. And try to surprise yourself because you never know what you're going to say. Maybe just explore your range and see what you can say. Oh, I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Thank you very much. And I understand you are vocal students, and um, and I know that at least musician is helping connect us together. And they're also a, a platform that helps teach ukulele and guitar and. I play all kinds of instruments. So today I'm going to be playing an uh, ukulele. And I'll tell you this, I actually don't know how to play any instrument, but I play all instruments. Um, and I just want to say that because I don't want you to guys, I don't want you to ever fear sitting down at an instrument or picking up an instrument and seeing what happens when you as a musician intuitively uh, begin to um, kind of solve the puzzle that an instrument is or solve the riddle the riddle of turning silence into sound. Look for the good in everyone. People don't go crazy. People don't go mad. 
people don't forget the superpowers we all have. We were born to love, not hate. We can decide our fate and look for the good in everyone and celebrate all our mistakes if there's a silver lining. A silver lining, you still have to find it, find it, find it. That's a four chord song. There's actually not that many chords, there's not that many notes in the scale, and yet there are billions of songs. I think that's, that's kind of astonishing. So that always gives me hope when I sit down to write a new song, because there's infinite possibilities, especially when you put your own spin on it. So we're going to ask uh, Jaden Lee. Anton, do come and sing for you. I'm you first. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot break. I'm yours. Open up your mind to see like me. Open up your plans and damn the free. Wow, that is awesome. Jaden, that was so cool. Jaden, you, you made it yours. And I think that is one of the most important things we can do when we sing any song, whether we're writing the song or we're singing a cover song, is make it yours. Uh, and you're a songbird. You, you have such uh, range and access to so many notes and so many melody possibilities inside of you. It's so cool. Great. I, I love your presence, your smile. Uh, you just you just seem really grounded when you perform. So you. the sky's the sky's the limit. Wow, I'm I got chills. I'm 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 flattered to hear you <laughs> sing that song. It's cool. Um, Mateo Lizcano. And in the end, just still my friend. At least we didn't intend for us to work. We didn't break. We didn't burn. We had to learn how to live without the world caving in. I had to learn what I got. What I'm not, and who I am. I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up. Awesome. Wow. Wow, Heidi, you have some amazing students. Um, Matea, wow, such dynamics. You know, this is not an easy song to go from that sort of low range, almost speaking voice, like the last chorus is, to, the, to that soaring chorus. You, I mean, you, you, have, you have such um, beautiful dynamics. Logan is gonna sing Look for the Good. Look for the good. Look for the good and everything. Look for the people who set yourself free. It always seems a possibility inside. Look for the good in everyone. Everyone needs sunshine. Everyone needs rain. Everyone is carrying around some kind of that was beautiful. Thank you. You have such a beautiful tone in into your voice. It's such a true, like pure tone. I love that. And um, it does. This song does get high at the, you know, in that one spot. Um, so as a performer, if you ever have the opportunity, move the key for yourself so that it best suits your range, right? Uh, but you guys already have such a huge what feels like a head start. Um, so obviously there is a, you all know this, but you know that there's like this light, you have this sort of talent and it's not egoic to recognize it, right? But you all know you have this secret talent that when you, when you pull it out, when you perform it, people around you go, wow, they lean in and they listen and they acknowledge you. And it's a superpower, the superpower of capturing people's attention. Um, 
So now it's, it's your responsibility for the rest of your journey to polish that light and, and figure out how to best let that light shine so that it continues to inspire others and serve the world through that enormous talent. We do have a few students that have questions for you. Okay, uh, sweet. Yeah, um, uh, freshman Ryan is going to ask you a question. Hi, um, how did you start uh, songwriting, singing, and playing the guitar? So I started songwriting probably at an early age. Really, we had a piano in, in our house, and I'm so grateful we had that because uh, at a young age, I would just go bang on it. It would make noise. I would be delighted. I would sing back with it and learn harmonies, and my mom taught me some chords. But I was honestly... Uh, I did not want to be bothered with music lessons. And so I skipped all my music lessons. And now as an adult, I really wish I had taken the music lessons because now I'm having to learn piano all over again. And I'm in my 40s. When my parents at a young age tried to get me to learn my scales and learn the piano. And I see now, 30 years later, the benefits of having learned earlier. Honestly, I think this is for me, my experience, it's one of the best ways to write a song is don't write the song, just sing the song. And what I mean by that is before you sit down and try to think of an idea, see what happens first if you just start singing an idea. Because you have to move at the speed of thought at that point. You're already making a sound, you're surfing on a sound wave. And now you get to decide where that sound goes. And if it's aligned with your present mind, and if it's aligned with your, your truth, and if it's aligned with your emotions, if it's aligned with your heart, then as you're singing, you will emote a truth. You will emote a powerful emotion that almost couldn't be captured by sitting down and writing it. I've got a chord right here and I'm making noise. It's to my ears, I'm just making it up and showing up for you, musicians. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am improvising, it's grooving. It's just music, if I don't lose it, or if I don't use it, I might lose it. <laughs> well, the, the next question we had was from Olivia. Uh, she's a senior, and may, you may have already covered it, but go ahead, Olivia. Ask okay. your question. Maybe you have more. Hi. Um, so what is your process for writing songs now? So there's, there's a couple of ways that I still use every week to write songs. Improvisation, prompts, and, and or parameters and deadlines, and then also things I care about and write an outline about those things. And, um, and also practice. Sometimes if we just wait for an idea, we might wait a month for that idea. But I give myself uh, a challenge of writing at least one song a week. So that way I always have to have my instrument tuned. I always have to have something being written down in my journal. And I always have to have this practice of songwriting because I'm always surprised at what I come up with. And that way, if I'm always practicing songwriting, when a great idea shows up, because you never know when the muse is gonna sit down next to you and whisper in your ear something profound. When that great idea shows up, I'm ready to catch it. I, I, I'm not out of practice, I'm ready. So that's another, that's another useful tip, keep practicing. Well, we're moving to our last uh, question from sophomore Mackay. Um, he has a pretty general question, but that's fun. Um, yeah, so uh, as you know, like the like the music business is really hard to get into. So, what would some like what would advice you would be able to give to a young musician trying to just get people to listen to you? Make sure you love the work. Make sure you love the song. Make sure it's great. Like nobody knows when great albums came out. They just know they are great albums, right? So. I, don't, I would recommend not being in a hurry. Like if you write a great song, don't be in a hurry to just put it up immediately and try to get everyone looking at you because now what's going to happen is you're going to have to shift all your energy into marketing, into getting people to come and listen to that song. Okay, great. They find the song. They're going to go, wow, that's an awesome song. What else you got? Um, the, the best way to just be seen and heard is be consistently great. Be, be rad. Be radical. 
um, do things that, that shake things up. Uh, music is its own reward. And uh, I feel so blessed to get to interact with music, to make music, and actually see these songs and hear you guys sing these songs back to me. It's incredible. Um, and that is a reward unlike any other industry. I, can't, I, I, don't, I don't know any other industry where someone else can now take that song and make it their own and do their own thing with it. So um, enjoy music first, be rad and be consistent. Um, also, like, what were you like in high school? What, what did you like to do? What were, what were your interests and stuff like that? Um, well, it wasn't high school, uh, but it was music. Uh, I mean, I went to high school. I graduated from high school, but I, I, I reluctantly graduated. I didn't want to be there uh, because I just, I loved performing. I loved writing. I loved creating um, all kinds of creativity. And, and sometimes in high school, I felt like this doesn't feel like creativity. This feels like some kind of forced learning on a topic that I don't care about. But luckily, luckily, we did have music in our schools. So from sixth grade through 12th grade, I was always able to take chorus or band um, or drama or do plays and musicals. And I signed up for every single one that I could. And honestly, the arts kept my grade point average up to the place where I could actually graduate. Uh, and then I, I knew I was choosing an arts college, so I didn't care so much about my general studies. And I probably shouldn't be saying this to, uh, to a group of young people who were still on that academic path, because I want to inspire you to learn and absorb as much information as you possibly can, because it's all going to benefit your songwriting. It's going to benefit your performing. It's going to benefit your acting. It's going to benefit your creativity, however you choose to go out in the world and be a storyteller. Make it different every time and challenge yourself to be yourself and stay out of your own way. Just let your true artistic love come through and that audience will fall in love with you. Thanks to Musician for linking us all together today. This is super cool. I was actually a bit nervous, uh, especially after hearing Jaden sing, uh, how that beautiful rendition of I'm Yours. And, um, you know, as I said, being a student who, who uh, focused on the arts more than academics when I was in high school. So it always makes me nervous when I stand up in front of a group of high school kids and, and try to do my best to inspire you because all I want to tell you to do is just keep going and keep being a, a creator, keep being a dreamer, keep being an activist through your music. Um, raise our awareness, raise our vibration, raise the, the beauty on this earth through, through the creations that, that, that are inside of each and every one of you. So I'm touched. I'm, I'm honored that I could be here today. You're awesome. I wish I could have gotten to hear everybody sing. Uh, Mr. Kirby, you look like you can, you can throw down. <laughs> Sophia, I wish I could have heard you sing. Uh, Daniel's up there. It's great to just see everyone. Uh, Justin, looks like Justin's sister is sitting in on the class today. It's nice. We got an extra maybe substitute teacher back there. Hey, there's even more people in Justin's domain. That's cool. Uh, yeah, super cool. All right. Well, for, for, for the seniors, congratulations. Happy graduation. Good luck out there. It is... Uh, it's a, it's a crazy world, but your music is a gift to that crazy world. And it can help provide some peace, some calming. It can provide some unity through the rhythm and the tone and the messages that you create. It, it allows us all to sort of dance to that same groove, which is so needed right now. And then to uh, the juniors and sophomores and freshmen, you know, continue to be a sponge while you're in school, while you have access to information. Uh, because all of that information is going to give you advantages as a songwriter and as a creator, because you'll, you'll just, you'll add so much more intelligence to your already intuitive nature. So that's my, that's my advice. So stay strong. Being in, being in high school is not easy. Being in the real world is not easy. Being a human is not easy. So I recognize all of you for doing some incredible work and uh, 
thank you for giving me the opportunity to connect with you all. Bye, Bye, Bye Jason. Bye, Jason. Bye. 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 Good. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Right, Jason. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Enjoy your summer. Thank you. Happy Enjoy summer. summer. Happy graduation. Bye. Thank you. All right. I hope to see you all on world stages really soon. <laughs> Thank Dinner you. Really Thank you, Jason. Thank you.